let's begin by eliminating x. Now to do it, I'm going to multiply equation 1 by 3, the coefficient of x in the second equation. Then I also multiply equation 2 with the 2, the coefficient of x in equation number 1. Okay, so I distribute this 3 equally throughout equation number 1. Let's begin. 3 times 2x, we obtain 6x. 3 times negative y, we obtain minus 3y. Everything is equal to 3 times 4, we obtain a 12, okay? 2 times 3x, we obtain 6x. 2 times 4y, we get 8y. And everything is equal to 2 times 17, we get a 34. Okay? Now, to eliminate x, we are going to subtract. 6x minus 6x, we get a 0. Minus 3y minus 8y, we are going to get negative 11y. And everything is equal to 12 minus 34 we get negative 22. So we divide both sides by negative 11. And therefore, the value of y is equal to a 2. Okay? So to obtain x, I'm going to substitute y either in equation number 1 or equation number 2. So let me substitute y in equation number 1 and I obtain the value of x. So I'm going to have 2x minus 2, everything is equal to a 4. So I'm going to begin by taking a 2 to the right hand side, implying that I'm going to have 2x minus 2 plus a 2, everything is equal to 4 plus a 2. Implying that 2x is equal to, remember this one vanishes to 0, 4 plus 2, I obtain a 6. I divide both sides by 2. Implying that the value of x is equal to a 3. 